In 2008, Texas, and indeed our family, lost a longtime friend, Senator Frank Modla, to a house fire. House fires are tragic, but making it even more tragic in this case was the fact that Senator Modla's home had no smoke alarm. Smoke alarms in homes save lives. One thing we know for sure is that fires don't discriminate. It doesn't make any difference your socioeconomic status. Whether you're rich or poor, live on the north, south, east, or west side, fires kill. Smoke alarms save. Here's the story about how one of our smoke alarms saved a life in Rosenberg, Texas. Well, it is great because the, the smoke detector usually works at nighttime when everybody sleeps. When you are asleep, you do lose the sense of smell. So you really can't really smell smoke uh, when, while you're asleep. So uh, the, the smoke detector, is they usually call it Mr. Nose. While you're asleep, Mr. Nose is actually the one that's working. So that's what the research says about smoke alarms. I never really thought of a smoke alarm as a Mr. Nose before, but I think I'm going to think of them that way from here on out. It's nice to know what real firefighters think of smoke alarms and our smoke alarm program. As being a firefighter inspector with the city of Rosenberg, uh, it brings us joy to see different people that have these uh, uh, smoke detectors installed. They feel so pleased and so secure now that they have a smoke detector in their house. And thanks to the Wayne Wright program and the smoke detectors that they've donated, it has just brought uh, more securement to the households in the city of Rosenberg. If you don't have a smoke alarm installed in your home, call your fire department and make sure that that's done today. Smoke alarms save lives. Thanks for watching.